All right, so we're here with uh, Mario from Gojira, and uh, looking forward to the show tonight. Really, really stoked. Uh, first time seeing you guys live. For both of us, uh, yes. what can we expect in the show tonight? Everybody says the live show is what you have to go to. Um, I don't know. We <laughs> we will do we do our best each night. You know, we we try to give everything, and uh, we have a cool uh, set list right now. Um, we have a little bit of production on this show, so we are proud of it. Uh, it's a mix between violence and uh, quiet things and nice. uh, mystical things and sometimes funny things. So it's we try to do something very balanced and uh, but. It's you guys. You have to tell me what you think about it. <laughs> Sounds good. The uh, you know I don't know what the metal scene's like in France. There are a lot of good bands coming out of Sweden, Australia, England, and obviously in, in the U.S. And, uh, as well. What's the metal scene like in France, and how did you guys get? I don't want to say inspired because that's kind of a cliche question, but you know, what, how do you guys thrive in, in France? Um, in France, we have a lot, a lot of good men, and uh, we were very inspired by some death metal band in France when okay. we started the band, like Loud Blast, uh, No Return, Merciless, a lot of good oh, yeah. bands, you know. Yeah. And now uh, there is a new generation, more modern, more technical, like everybody in the world, you know. All, all musicians uh, use internet, they know how to play fast, they know how to be technical. Mm -hmm. So we have a huge scene right now in France, very technical. And maybe Gojira has a big influence uh, on many, many bands. So you can sometimes feel a uh, Gojira vibes in all the death metal band, you know, but you have all kind of band and very professional. The main uh, main problem is the language because uh, we, we are very, for us, it's hard to speak English very mm -hmm. well because our, uh, f our language French is, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's the all pronunciation the is completely different, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So all the French do don't speak well English like me, you know, so it's hard to cross the border. And uh, for example, in Sweden, Norway, everybody speaks English perfectly. You know, like it's right. uh, they know everybody knew know two language. In France, we we know French, right. and we try to learn English. You did bring up something that's very uh, poignant in the way your band is thriving. Is you're a very technical band. What's the background on that? Uh, did you go to school for it, or is it just years and years of practice, or is it something you picked up? You're just natural. Uh, I think it's natural. We don't feel so technical uh, compared to a band like Meshuga, for example. We, mm -hmm. we, we seem to be uh, like pop band, you know. It's not so <laughs> technical. But uh, as a drummer, I learned music. Uh, I, I had a teacher and I was... Uh, before I took lesson, I was very fascinating by technique in general. And uh, I was a big fan of death. And in the band, we all in, the four of us were a big fan of death, Morbid Angel. So, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a fast part, the technical part little bit of jazz in a death, so we, we really love all this influence, you know. Uh, but we don't feel like we, we are a technical band, but we practice a lot, a lot together during si 16 years. Yeah. It was a tough recording this last album because, as I understand, Joe actually lived in New York for, for a while, correct? I mean, did that, did yeah. you guys have to, sh you know, email tracks back and forth, or did you get together for six months and record from there? No, we, we compose everything in France. He was in France at that time, and oh, okay. now he's living in New York. But we, when we start recording, he found a place, and now he's uh, he, he lives in New York for a couple of times. But when we compose together, uh, most of the time we are uh, in the same room, the four of us, composing like a real rock band. And uh, in the future, it will be the same. We will find an arrangement. He will come in France. Anyway, it's, uh, uh, we need to play together to compose. Yeah. Yeah, you should. I think that the other thing too is, you know, you mentioned earlier about uh, what kind of following you have in France and in the States, you know, I think a lot of bands, uh, a lot of international bands fail to get the recognition that they deserve and I think that's great that you guys made a lot of top 10 lists because I think you deserve it. The album last year was phenomenal. What do you think is key to getting more and more fans stateside other than obviously touring your asses off like you're doing now? <laughs> I don't know. Now we have a strong platform with Roadrunner, so um, mm -hmm. they built something very strong. Like uh, they did a lot of promotion, so it was a new step for us also because we were kind of in a shadow with a small label right. since uh, 15 years, something like mm -hmm. this. So since we signed with Roadrunner, we uh, I think we needed this, you know, so like yeah. uh, put light on Gojira and put promotion and you know. So uh, next step, I don't know. It's, we have to tour, 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 and and keep doing good music. I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, pretty stoked to see you guys. You know, we've you know obviously been tracking you in Europe and everything. To actually see you guys here tonight is is pretty incredible. How do you continue to progress uh, as a drummer? I mean, you know, a, a guitarist can sit on the tour bus and sit there and play some you know strings. Do you have you know electric drums or do you just kind of tap? And obviously, you know, we're chilling here backstage. You can hear people screaming in the next room and that kind of thing. You know, do you continue to progress? Listen to other bands? Learn new techniques? Uh, yeah, you're right. It's hard as a drummer to progress, to practice every day. So I just try to. Uh, sometimes I, I check on internet some exercise. I have some DVDs and uh, I have a practice pad also. But on this tour, I, I don't do too much. I, I just focus on uh, uh, just stay calm during the day before the show. And uh, but when I'm home, I'm always working, working, working very hard on my drums. So. Uh, yeah, but the tour, when you go on stage, you progress a lot also. I would imagine, absolutely. What would you consider, I mean, you guys are still a pretty new band. I mean, you guys are pretty young. What would you consider success for Gojira or for you, for your family, you and your brother? Um, have you reached it yet? Or, you know, is it just being able to do this for a living and get paid for it? Do what you love. What's success to you? Uh, just being with my friend, my family, my brother is in a band, the uh, rest of the band is like a brother, so I'm all, I'm, it's okay, I'm, I'm uh, happy yet, you know, I don't need anything else. Maybe a bit more money, you know, to when I go home uh, with my wife, I uh, can just uh, buy some food, you know, <laughs> 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 because I'm, I'm never uh, home, so when I go back, I... Uh, I need to justify, you know, the fact I'm not at home. <laughs> so yeah, I hope we will um, do sold out shows. Yeah, you know? yeah. But uh, I'm already happy. You know, I don't need uh, anything else. Good. And obviously having you know a guy like Devin Townsend to tour with you guys is huge. That's an amazing thing to have together. Uh, from one drummer to another, if you could get a master class, dead or alive, from any drummer, who's the one you would want to learn from the most? Uh. Dean Castronovo. Okay. Yeah. Well, all right. Nice. Abe Cunningham also is. Yes. Huge, dude. huge. That uh, new Deftones album is. Yeah, yeah. No, it really is. Yeah. Yeah. And again, you know, what do you think when you're putting together a kit? You know, like you talked about Mashuga. You know, tons of you know Terry Bozio, people like that have just got thirty drums in front of them, and then somebody like Questlove has you know two drums. I think. Right. Yeah. Uh, what do you think when you're putting together your kit? What goes into that? Uh, you mean uh, I don't need a lot of toms, you know? Right. Uh, I think the, the talent is uh, what you can do with just a snare and a kick drum, you know? It's a big challenge to do something original and technical at the same time. And um, my goal is to play simple, but uh, straight to the point, efficient. And, uh, so by the past, I needed a lot of toms. I thought it was this. Uh, to be technical, I, I thought it was, I needed all right. this. But now, just with a hi hat and a snare and a kick, I try to do something, you know. Now, say you knew you only had five, ten, maybe fifteen minutes left to live. What is the last song that you would want to hear? You can hear it, or you can perform it. It can be yours or anybody else's. But what do you want your last musical experience to be? <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a classical song from nice. Mozart. Okay, Mozart. Right, nice. Maybe. Yeah. Good call. Right. Right, nice. So I'm, a, I'm a big fan of classical, so I, yeah, I, I feel too. that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mario, we appreciate it. Guys, go out and see Gojira live. Get the merch. Go see them and buy the albums, as course, well as the back catalog. Oh, absolutely. And of course, <laughs> you'll hear our thoughts on the, on the show tonight. Absolutely. Across the board radio.com.